So, like our air access, we formed a collaborative partnership for Cape Town and the Western Cape, and it's proved extremely successful and impactful in leveraging both from national and internationally to land direct flights to Cape Town. We started and embarked on a similar initiative for Cruise Cape Town and to develop and further promote cruise tourism for this province. So the Waterfront has just, over the last five years, invested in, in a world-class um, cruise terminal here uh, because we feel that Cape Town is one of the top five natural harbours in the world. And what is super important is that when people come here, that they, they are well treated and they get a great reception. While cruises have not resumed, the continued interest of travellers to book cruises and travel as soon as it's safe to do so means that rebuilding the cruise sector in the Western Cape is a key opportunity for us now. The city of Cape Town has a long history of port and sea trade. In recent years, there's been a significant increase in cruise liners visiting our port. The Cruise Cape Town initiative in our perspective as Transnet National Ports Authority seeks to ensure that we grow the number of cruise ships that are actually coming to the port of Cape Town. We have identified a trend that a cruise ship will call in Durban, from Durban to Port Elizabeth, from Port Elizabeth to Cape Town. As the global markets and industries start to emerge from the pandemic, this is a perfect time to activate platforms that will reignite tourism in Cape Town. We have been working hard to ensure that the Western Cape is a destination of choice for cruise passengers. 